Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the December side event, I'm Not That Guy in a Red Suit. So this one is fairly easy to understand, but the event itself, there's quite a few nodes on every single opponent. There's like six bosses to do back to back, and there's like a few things that can kill you unless you read the nodes and pay a little bit of attention. So, you know, ju just be aware of that when it comes. Probably not if you're using Hercules. You could probably just use Hercules and go in and win like every other thing. But if you don't want to use Hercules, man gotta do a little bit of reading or watching this video uh so what you need to do again the first thing is the special objective every single week there is going to be a riddle there are various um uh, milestones here like every three milestones um of killing the opponent that is like the champion of the week um you get a bundle of letters bundle of letters are the entry for the side event so this one you need to win a fight uh with or against a champion who asks for a new camera lens for the holidays so this one is obviously spider-man here so if you go for the the very first week here just into the labyrinth of legends sorry the road to the labyrinth of legends uh, in 1-3, there is a Spider-Man on the very first node. So you can very quickly um, and easily farm out this objective if you're looking to get it done. So yeah, you literally just need to, uh, what is it, one-tap this champion like three times and you can get up. I've already like pre-farmed the uh, the other two, so we're only going to need to beat him once. But there we go, super, super easy. And then you can get your bundle of letters, which gives you access to the side event here. So we're going to go ahead and claim that. And then if we exit out, end quest, and then we want to go back to the main menu and then find the side quest here. And then we'd, uh, we're going to make our team for this. So I'm going to bring in uh, the Nick Fury of Bane Synergy. Um, and also, like, I love a little bit of the Heimdall safety net as well. So I'm going to have Spider-Ham and Gamora being like my main two damage dealers, my rank threes now. Um, and then, yeah, I'm also just going to bring in Heimdall just just so we can do some very silly plays if needed. Uh, between like Nick Fury and Heimdall, dude, again, you got just a silly amount of safety net to go ham with uh, a couple of characters there. So there is uh, a bit of intercepting required on the uh, the final boss, Red Guardian, because he's like this Quicksilver breakneck speed node um, where if you don't intercept him and knock him down, uh, then intercepting him refreshes whiplash and then knocking him down transfers the whiplash from you to him so you get rid of it uh, and if you don't do this you're gonna get, get giga clapped um however as well when you knock him down there's the newton's law note so this is the one that gives him the 20 second unstoppable but if you intercept him it applies the passive slow so you don't need to worry about that so this fight is pretty much all about intercepting for the most part uh, or if you have a slow champion again it's going to make it a little bit easier as well or if you just throw all your champions at it or hercules at it should also work there uh also on this um what is it this red goblin node as well this is potentially a random cosmic here there is like auto block basic attacks you've got the rising sun node and also whenever the defender blocks a hit they gain an indefinite fury passive um and if they gain more than six of these they get like passively unblockable as well so just be very careful and try to intercept when you can here but this is also made a little bit more difficult by the fact that there is an auto block node uh, and you also have rising sun and need to knock down the opponent so the cosmic one can be a little bit of a pain um but yeah let's go through and um uh start blasting i think the first two were like fairly trivial like not too much to worry about in terms of the nodes and we like a random tech champion i think doc ock iron patriot uh a couple of the spawns here so so nobody too difficult but there is the protection node so we are going to need to knock down with a heavy attack on this one get rid of protection node and then we can start blasting okay we're we're doing some incredible damage so far i think protection is about to come back up though so just need to get another of what I could be very cheeky here, dude. Oh, I was just gonna actually go for it, but he's uh decided he wanted to throw a special two anyway. Like I got the I got the relic. Kind of extend that a little bit. And I think I'm just gonna throw this right into a heavy attack, get rid of this, and then maybe try and clip. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so Doc Ock, he's he's down again. Not not the most difficult of first opponents. The first two are quite, quite trivial, I believe. We got a uh, Scarlet Witch here. I don't think there was anything too noticeable. Uh, okay, so this is a random selector of ISO here. 
always do need a metric ton of ice, so that's 30,000. And I think you get five of these throughout the quest. I don't know if they're completely random, there's Root or Ruid. Oh yeah, this one has life cycles, so a lot of knocking down here. And there is also, um, after a successful parry, you gain like crazy power gain as well. But there is also bubble shield, so you got to be aware of that. But I think the parry is so good for life cycle, because again, you just want to knock the opponent down quite a few times. And power sting as well is amazing for life cycle, because life cycle means that your damage over time effects don't deal any damage. But power sting, just being an activation effect, uh, still still goes. So it's like amazing if you can knock them down and then just... Uh, Oh, there is also the root node as well, so just be a little bit careful of that. Oh no, okay, right, Spider-Ham just god clutching there, man. Made a little bit of a mistake, but we're back in the game. Okay, that's a lot of power stings. Will it be enough? There we go, dude. Just absolutely face rolling life cycle there. We love to see it. Okay, so we got another selector. I think it will pop up at some additional point here. Uh, we're going to pick 50 six-star relic shards, and then... Okay, so this is what... This is a bit annoying, dude. A bit annoying. There's lots of things at play here. Unblockable. Auto blocks as well. Oh, is it me hitting into the defender's block? Okay, so I just need to not hit into the defender's block. I, was, I thought it was them hitting into mine. Oh, but because of the auto block? Yeah, it's actually really easy to get that. If you've got like a hard auto block counter, probably very good for this. If I get two more of those, we're not going to be having a great time. I don't know if it's just better to kind of go a bit higher and just uh, take the, the degeneration. Okay, degeneration hits hard, but does Gamora hit harder? Maybe. We got Heimdall, we got Heimdall. Oh, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I think that fight's also potentially quite annoying. Uh, so just be be aware that that one's a bit of a pain. Um, okay, what do we have? Yellow jacket up next here. What do we want to go for? Um, I think I'm just going to go for the shards, dude. I just like getting a lot of six-star champions. So it can all roll into uh, seven-star shards in the future. Okay, cool. So this is just a bit of stun immunity, hurt locker. I don't think anything like super bad there. I think like smite out. Smite out's good. Nick Fury should be good here as well. I guess Spine Am's maybe like not as good. You can't get the power stings up during uh, the stun once he starts doing special attacks, but. Actually, just trying to bait him a little bit higher there. Oh, dude, that's actually perfect. Oh, I shouldn't have used that in a row. Can I get the hammer out? No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take uh, gonna take a fair bit of damage there. Oh god. Yeah. So be aware, guys. Uh, don't use the same special attack twice in a row. I was like, oh, it's the perfect play. I can just, you know, check another special one. Pulls the power stings. He's instantly gonna throw, but he did not instantly throw there. So here you can get a bit of tier six basic or a six star six stone. Both of those are pretty good. I think the six star six stone. It's got like so many rank up resources at the moment. Crazy amount. And yeah, this one has diversion. Um, and you've got to run away during the timer or else you're going to miss the opponent. I think if we just have Gamora here, it should be fine. And also if the opponent has prowess and we knock them down, then we gain a degeneration, I think. We actually take a burst of damage. And there's also counter tactics as well. So if you get hit, you're going to get hit hard. So if we were to knock him down during this prowess, uh, we get wrecked. I think if we knock him down outside of it, we, we're good. Doesn't matter, we got Falter, we're avoiding miss. Doing Gamora things. So yeah, that one is uh, is pretty easy if you've got Gamora or somebody that can as miss. Main, main thing is just like, don't get hit. <laughs> don't get hit and... Uh, was it don't knock down if they got prowess and red guardian again is gonna gain the whiplash stacks and we want to intercept uh like dash back intercept to refresh these and knock him down if we want to transfer them 
But then he's going to gain Unstoppable, so we've got to intercept him again. So that's why I wanted to bring the Nick Fury synergy, man. Just get, get, a, little bit of, get a little bit of safety net, you know? Keep the training wheels on. I think I probably should just go for, like, a couple of hits here. Then dash back. Does, does not want to do anything. Okay, I think I just need to heavy attack here. But I didn't heavy attack there. Oh no, it didn't transfer the whiplash. Okay. So yeah, just got to intercept. Come on, dude. I need another fast intercept. Perfect. Okay, I can't go in. Just hoping to get an intercept there, but I got clapped. Oh my god, dude! Um, did I have like an ability accuracy reduction? Because like Nick Fury of Age charges didn't work there. Uh, and yeah, I got got a little bit, a little bit ruined. A little, just a little bit. But he's also a little bit chunky. He's got almost uh, 400,000 hit points here. I mean, not really chunky if you spent the last uh, month and a bit in uh, Necropolis, but, but chunky by side event standards. There we go. Okay, so this is kind of the fight that I wanted to have on the first one. Let's get him into a good rhythm. And there we go. So yeah, I, I can see like a couple of the bosses being a little bit annoying and difficult, but I think for this final one... We get to select like 150 seven star shards. No, so it's not like the craziest amount of shards that was ever given away ever. I, th I think it should pop up now. But you can get four of these a week. So it's like about 600 a week. Um, you know, it's pretty like standard side event quest rewards overall, like with everything included. Because there is also uh, on top of this as well, like an additional couple of uh, 35 day events and this is before the banquet event this is before the Christmas events as well there's like uh, do the uh, what is it beat uh, champions associated with Deadpool either directly the characters or their synergies and you get all the shards and the um, uh, the very final one uh, gives you an awakening gem so I think it's like beat 50 of those characters or something again fairly straightforward to farm as well and there is also like a together for the holidays one, which is uh, beating opponents in Alliance Quest, Alliance War, Battlegrounds. And this is going to give you like a ton of gold and additional rank up resources and just all sorts of things. I think it's like mainly associated with relics, this one to be fair. It's going to give you a alloy selector. But yeah, there's again, just going to be a lot of different things this month that kind of add up all together. But the anniversary stuff, I think it's coming like next week in the banquet event the week after. So that's when I expect like the really big, the really juicy rewards. Because, you know, this, this is pretty like standard side event quest stuff. Nothing like too amazing or flashy. But uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed the walkthrough today. Uh, and if you did, please do smash that like button. That'd be greatly appreciate it. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care. And I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.